Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? So what we're going to be talking about right now is something that's going to happen tomorrow, okay? And I don't want anyone to flip out because this is something that actually happens at hospitals all across the country. And this is what they do in order to better prepare themselves for in case they have um, like another say 9-11. Okay, so they can better prepare themselves and better equip themselves. Okay, so there's a hospital in Long Island, New York that is reportedly planning a mass casualty exercise on the 21st. Okay, and the it's the Stony Brook South Hampton Hospital, and it will be a full scale mass casualty surge exercise with local police, fire, and EMS departments that will be involved, okay? Now this um, is according to Fox News 21, uh, the US for Air Force Academy said it will be holding a mass casualty training exercise at its clinic from 7.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. on Thursday, April 11th. And according to the Air Force Academy, the 10th Medical Group is conducting an exercise on Thursday at the Academy Clinic. The clinic will be closed during this exercise and the Academy personnel and civilians are to avoid it and its parking until after the training is complete. They expect the clinic to reopen at about one o'clock on Thursday. So the reason why I'm bringing this information to you is because I don't want anyone in this area to panic and think that there is something more going on or something more to it, okay? Um, hospitals, like I said, all across the country do this type of thing, and it's only to uh, prepare themselves more for something that could come about, okay? Because we never know, right? We never, never know what could p possibly be in our future, and hospitals always have to be prepared and more well-equipped equip for say possibly another 9-11 right on and it's always best to be prepared than unprepared right on so all right guys that's all for this video i will see you in the next one you stay safe you stay positive you keep prepping and as always fear less ciao now like i said this will be held on sunday april 21st from nine o'clock in the morning until noon and the exercise is a drill. That's all this is. It's a drill. And it will not disrupt any hospital services at all. And all the staff and the patients and the visitors will have unrestricted access. Residents in the area will also have access to and from their homes during the training. And residents should be aware that participating emergency vehicles will be on site as well as patient actors. Okay, so there will be road closures. Okay, so if you are in this area, please pay attention to these road closures. Meeting House Lane between St. Louis Street and Old Town Road. Lewis Street between Meeting House Lane and Herrick Road. Herrick Road between Lewis Street and Old Town Road. Old Town Road between Rogers Avenue and Wickapog Road. Wickapog Road between Old Town Road and Narrow Lane. Now, Story Brook University Hospital conducted a mass casualty exercise in April of 2023. Um, now, this is per Stony Brook University. They said on Tuesday, April 18th from 7 o'clock in the morning until noon, the Division of Enterprise Risk Management will be partnering with the University Hospital for a full-scale emergency drill in the vicinity of the Stoller Center, East Side Dining and University Hospital. There will be multiple emergency service departments from campus as well as local, county, and state agencies participating and will include role players, simulated victims, emergency response vehicles, and a test of the campus outdoor siren. So if you hear this siren going off, please don't panic. This is all for the drill, okay? Now, similarly, the U.S. Air Force Academy conducted a mass casualty training exercise 
last week as well.